Nah, man. I don't want to do photography no more. Top three moments. Uh, one of them was Amsterdam. Um, my first show when I kicked off my tour. Like, first of all, my tour, like, everybody, like, like shit that was happening behind the scenes, they was trying to cancel my tour. They didn't want it to happen. Like, they was making lies of saying, yo, your tour not selling out. Then I, my first show, I get there sold out. So I'm like, what the hell? I look on the internet, my shit ain't sold out. So it's like somebody trying to stop me from being who I am today. And I get on stage and hear people fly, cut, like yelling, like, damn, this shit, shit crazy. Like right then and there, I knew like, I'm an artist, like I'm somebody, you know what I'm saying? And then when I traveled over state lines, I went to Canada, like Montreal, for instance. I flew into Montreal, I didn't have no security, nothing. Like everybody couldn't get past the border. So I only flew with me and my DJ, sold out event. Like, I, shit was so turned up, people started jumping on stage, pulling security off the stage. Like, it was nuts. But all they wanted to do was rock with you and have fun and show you they get turned up like you. That was another moment. In Amsterdam, once again, I'm all the way across waters and it's the same fucking thing. So, with that being said, I feel like nobody can tell me shit who I am today. Like, a comment can't never affect the impression on how I talk on the mic because I know who the fuck I am. Me and Tyler, man, we ain't even get to finish it, man. Like, our schedule's been so crazy. Top of the year, we on it. Punk rap. Punk rap like hip hop and rock and roll mixed together. Just high volume, high bass, just hot, just f fucking pull your hair out of music, man. You know what I mean? Like fuck my outfit type music when I go to the club. And then about my outfit, about to, about to experience the situation, the time we about to have, the fucking beds, the alcohol, the, the ladies with no tops on, you know what I'm saying? Like ultimate good time. We Hell yeah, my fans can be one person. That's my favorite person. That's why I dedicated to him too much. Some of people say I'd be into my fans too much. I'd be like, what the fuck? That's life. Friends, fans, and family. <laughs> Hell no, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna go out, man. Cause it's gonna fucking blow up. You're gonna drown. Depends on how the world go out, you know what I mean? I got me an underground house I built. Like in America, they, you get to build underground house for 15,000. I put 25,000 on it, you know what I'm saying? So I already prepared right there. Um, I always got weed around me. I'm just gonna smoke till I die, man. Like the biggest fucking blunt I can think of so I can just fall asleep and already wake up and it's over. Shit, when you high, you like, fuck it. I'm about to blow. Cause <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Hold up, run that back. I'd rather go up with an eagle size of elephant. Because an eagle is more fragile. You can easily break a neck. You can easily kill an eagle faster. For fuck around with a punch. You probably could kill it with a punch in a certain position. Because they got like less bones. Like their bones is more fragile. Hell yeah. I, I fuck with an eagle. But if the eagle hits you with the mouth, it's over with. So, so this is a shaky situation. Do I, get a, do I get a weapon? Oh, hell yeah. That eagle. I gut that shit. Anyway, it, it, I, I got the shit and eat it afterward. Just to show you, just to show you like the warrior. Hell yeah, with, with no sauce. <laughs> My balls, they be lurking. My balls, they be lurking. Hey. My balls, they be lurking. Nigga, we lurking. Lurking. Squad. 
Say Ace. What's up, what? I'm gonna bring this shit back to Flockavelli. Flockavelli. I fuck my money.